Hello, this is Jennifer with Women Love and Jesus, and today we're on Proverbs 2, 8, which states, For he guards the course of the just, and he protects the way of his faithful ones. So this is saying that he is looking over us, our past, and the faithful ones here really means the ones who worship him, the one who are following him, the ones that are focused on him. I was looking at this and studying this, and I was looking at some of the parallel verses in the Bible that has to do with this scripture, and I found Psalm 66, 9. He preserves our lives and he keeps our feet from slipping. You know, a lot of times God will have us go on this path. And in this path, we see a little bit of it. You know, we see the next couple of steps. And the first thing we do is we can get so overwhelmed. We see so many different angles. We see complications. We don't know how this is going to work out. We don't know how we're going to accomplish it all. We may see people coming against us. We may see where things don't even connect and they need to connect and then that becomes a concern. And then before you know it, we're like, well, I don't have this, I don't have this, I don't have this, I don't have this. This is way too overwhelming. And then we have that overwhelming anxiety, fear. How is this going to get accomplished? And we sometimes forget God put us on that path. He is watching us on that path, and he is not going to allow us to slip. God has unlimited resources for him. If he needs to bring in extra people at any time during this journey, he can do that. If he needs to give you extra strength at any time during this journey, he can do that. If he needs to give you specific information that you need today in order to take the next step, he will do that. So we may be looking at this path and we may be thinking of all the things that are missing when really what we need to be looking at is looking at the Lord and know what is there. And his promise is he will not let you slip. So let's just praise him for that acknowledgement today. So I pray that the Holy Spirit takes the word of God and that helps you today. Thank you for listening.